My name is Taylor, Taylor QB. I am from Dayton, Ohio. Just recently moved to Columbus, Ohio. Um, and I am a portrait photographer. I've been uh, photographing for about eight years. I picked up a camera one day uh, while I was in school. I was bored and I was looking at fashion magazines and I wanted to copy that. One of the biggest things that excites me as a photographer is light. I love light. I'm a, like, pretty much like a geek of light. So giving uh, shape and form to items and where to place those to um, have the best reaction from a viewer. I've been a Fujifilm X-Series and GFX Series user for probably about five years. I believe Fujifilm is a good intro and especially if you are a I would say a purist photographer, um, you would want to go to Fuji. One for the, the form factor, they'll take you back to the, the retro designs of SLRs. Um, two, they try to put in a lot of features that want you to shoot creatively. Uh, want you to kind of take control of your, your camera. It's just a, a pleasure to work with. So for this past year, I've been doing a productivity challenge uh, just to keep me motivated, keep the momentum going. Um, I at least do two to three shoots a week. I, I do it because I've noticed that if I don't do regular work, then it'll be weeks, months go by and I don't do anything serious or I don't really get any practice in. So it's just trying to get that momentum and keep that momentum. Usually I try to get like paid shoots, graduation, headshots, anything like that. Um, and then want to do personal stuff. So get creative or just practice. So I might, I like scour YouTube, scour books. Um, if I want to try something, then that's my time to actually practice it. So I can just keep going, be consistent. Um, that's the, the big word is consistency. I recently got a GFX 50R. I've gone through pretty much every full frame offering and full frame looked the same to me. Um, whatever the megapixels were. Uh, I just, it was different seeing a bigger sensor, seeing the depth of field, seeing like the, the light and shadows. It was just a whole nother level to me. It's more of a retro type body. So kind of a, more of a range finder. looks like a large Leica, um, which I enjoy. I kind of have like that retro feel, still shoot a lot of film. So um, any camera that kind of reminds me of that era I'm down with and it's smaller. The 50R, I can pop a small lens on there and kind of hide that. For this particular shoot, I was working with the GFX 100 alongside with my GFX 50R. So we mostly use the GFX 100 uh, and the 50R for the camera bodies. Uh, for my lenses, I use the 120 and the 53.5 for that particular shoot. Those are my two favorite lenses so far for the GF, uh, GF system. I wanted to kind of do two different looks. One, mostly natural light, one, pure studio. So I did one of the setups outside, I had a black backdrop. So we were kind of in open shade. We had just a little bit of light speckled in and then we used some pro photo lights. So we used a couple of B1Xs and just regular five in one reflectors and just homemade stuff. We kind of got some great looks, great clean looks look wonderful in black and white. Um, on the inside, I kind of wanted to do more of a contrasty, pure studio portrait. So I got my uh, seven foot umbrella and I went to work. The reason why I like the megapixels and the resolution, one is cropping. You can do anything. <laughs> um, so you really have a lot of flexibility, uh, especially with fashion editorial, commercial work, anything like that. Um, I think the biggest strength of the resolution is kind of cropping and making the image the way you want to. Uh, I feel like you just zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and you don't really know when to stop. Another big difference is the added uh, autofocus capabilities. Uh, so you'll have quicker AF uh, with the 100 alongside in-body image stabilization. So you get a, a lot of extras. You can kind of tell all of your settings right here. You have a very nice histogram right here, which I love to use. Um, in-body image stabilization is 
the bees knees for me, this is like the most important feature. Um, with 100 megapixels, you need stabilization. Uh, you see every little mistake, every little detail at 100 megapixels. And the body, um, it's just so easy to use, kind of use in any orientation. Um, it is the 50S, but a lot more comfortable. I really don't have to change the way I shoot with the Fuji uh, medium format. With the GFX system, I'm comfortable um, pretty much doing any shoot. I, you can make an image with, like a great image with most cameras. Um, this is a big difference to me. Um, I see it, hopefully my viewers see it. Um, it's just, it's that much special. It's hard to explain, it's hard to put it in words. Um, but once you work on these files, you kind of understand the, the magic of this camera. Got some good news that I was the Fuji specialist. I feel a lot, I feel very comfortable in the position. Uh, obviously I shoot it. Everybody's been very nice to me. Fuji's been awesome. Um, I've been able to test out cameras and lenses, so I'm, I'm happy. Thanks Fuji. Um, thank you Midwest. This was an awesome experience. These are awesome cameras. Yeah, go take pictures.